really easy in this election. Child care, health care, pharma care, mall care. I'm sure you have, like I have, been seeing the polls lately. You're not out of it, but things aren't looking all that great. I want to know how the TPP and how your opposition to it fits into what you've got to do in the remaining two weeks of this campaign. Do you really think that you can, how are you going to convince the majority of Canadians or at least large numbers of voters of the rightness of your cause and is that one of your objectives in this? You know, the Canadians do know that they can trust me to stand up for them, for their jobs, for their communities and they can trust the NDP that they've known for a long time. I've been in public life for over 35 years and I've always stood on questions of principle. And I've always worked with Don Davies, who's been doing an absolutely amazing job as our spokesperson on these issues, and we've opened up more than we ever had. The NDP came out, for example, in favor of the trade deal with Korea because we had time to study it. We were able to conclude that it was going to be better in the interests of Canada, despite opposition from some quarters. That's the approach we take. We look for reciprocity, an even playing field. Is the partner a democracy? Does it respect rights? Is it respectful of the environment? Does it have tough rules? Does it respect labor? I don't want economic dumping, but I don't want social dumping or environmental dumping either. I don't want to trade with a country where everything is produced by using the air, the soil, and the water as a universal free dumping ground. I want to make sure that if we're dealing with somebody, it's on an even playing field. That's why I was able to support the trade deal with Korea. So this notion that somehow the NDP is anti-trade is just false. But we're smart on trade as well. And Stephen Harper is an opportunist on trade. He's willing to sell out Canadian families, Canadian farming families. He's willing to sell out Canadian families where the, the livelihood is gained in the auto sector two weeks out from an election because he thinks it's good for him. I'm always going to do what I think is good for Canadian families. Uh,